We're sort of planning an event, a possible event, which would be another performance by yourself, which would be similar or related to the management theory at work in radio, which was two summers ago. Um, for new listeners who weren't there, and that would be most people, I guess, um, there were dark times. Uh, in the summer, in the holidays, theatre is deserted in August, apparently, and so the, the Bike Shed Theatre was available for any uh, person from Phonic to take it over for the day and try something out. And um, that was a good thing. And I, I think this summer it's going to be down at the boat shed on the quay. And the summer will be strangely not a dark time at all. It will be um, where everybody goes. So anyway, I'll just mention that. You um, could do it either if they don't let you do it there. I mean, oh, a project space. Oh, right. I'm pushing Eva. Yep. Eva. Remind us where Eva is. On Marsh Platon. Oh, right. Yeah. OK. Well, would, would they welcome an, an academic conference about... Well, the, they is me oh, at is the you. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, look, can we have a short <laughs> academic conference on management theory and oh, well, radio? Oh, we're very welcome. Well, that sounds good. So it's an art centre, effectively. Yeah, well, kind of. It's, yes, it's visual art, but we're, we're, we're radiating to performance art. So, yes. OK. Well, that's, that sounds good, because um, I'm, tr- I'm trying to get a, a general design that would work at any length, in any location based on sound clips. So yeah. the sound clips exist before and after, but obviously there are real life events. Yeah, well, absolutely. That, yes. Anyway, okay. we'll do it well. It'll happen. Right, One okay. way or the other, either the boat shed or Eva, it'll happen. OK. Well, that is, that is good. So last time you did it, it was, um, so let's say, a couple of years ago, and it all goes back to management theory at work conferences that actually happened on the Lancaster University campus uh, maybe 10 years ago, maybe more, at a time when information technology, information and um, communication technology uh, was being considered as part of learning or teaching design or um, human relations within organisations or, you know, various various contexts were being discussed. And there was also a lot of input from critical management studies. And I, I th- as I explained it to you, just to remind the audience, as I explained to you at the time, the, 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 the issues come up for me, getting my head around the sequencing of things. Because if, if, if you want to take the point of view as philosophers, either you object to, to commerce and in innovation, or you don't think it's got anything to do with what an academic should be doing anyway. You're not, you're not really... Um, taking practice as the consequence of what you're, what you're working on. Um, therefore, why you're in a business school, I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, given a specific project, um, it's not going anywhere based on, on what you think about. And you might say that at the beginning of the project or the end of the project. Um, uh, but as, as radio, if we've got, if we've got clips, we're going to use them in a certain order anyway. But at that time, um, what I wanted you to do was to address those issues as philosophy, which actually came at the end of the day because it was a performance and we had other people coming there for uh, regarding it just as, just as theatre. So I say just as theatre, but not, not part of the main day event. Um, but it could come at the beginning. Now, what has happened since, I think, is that all these, these concepts of um, the MOOC, e-learning, online stuff has, has just been accepted anyway. Because if you go if you go to the Lancaster campus, if you go to the Exeter campus, you get in the middle bit of it and it's a cafe with Wi Fi access, just like any other city centre really, or say city centre, or so urban centre. And so the question of whether there should have been a business school looking at how to do that as innovation or whether that shouldn't have happened, um, isn't relevant at this time, so uh, so I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm getting around to what, what I'm asking you to do. So just bear with me; it's t- t- just taking a long time. On the on the Facebook page, the Wildfire Facebook Wild Show Facebook page, I've put a, a map of the Lancaster campus, which I now think of as a, a sequence. So you can start out at Info Lab Twenty One, which is for innovation, and then you go to the Business School. And then you go to the Central Park, uh, Alexander Square area. And 
previously I had thought that the, the drama, the performance, would be at the management school. But I think now it's gone beyond that. So you're into the social science and arts bit, the, the northern spine, um, beyond the central square. And I'm looking for some representation of what the issues are at that point, which I think is that the, um, the social media have, have taken over from where the, where the uh, centre of the discussion is. And the, uh, the academics have just got to work their way around that. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, my particular special stuff, um, that is academics... Let's start with where we'll, just education full stop. Um, it's very clear secondary school education has absolutely not caught up with social media. So at the moment, A-level students and GCSE students will never be told how to use so social media resources to get through exams. It would never happen. And it's also true that academics will, as long as they possibly can, if not try to not use it, have keep themselves distance from it because their own brand, their own particular bag, employs, involves their own set of networks. So I think it's a very complicated relationship. So academia would like to think of itself as the place uh, as beginning where social media stopped. So it would want to be saying social media is full of false news and academia is full of true news. But that distinction, of course, doesn't half when you come down to certain bits in academia become terribly subjective. But that, I think, will mean that it ends up being a very, very difficult relationship, if I'm honest with you. Certainly, schools have, have this incredibly tortured relationship, I, I talked to you about it before, with things like um, phones. So yeah. um, most A-level students will not know, or they'll know, because they'll know, but they'll never have been shown, um, how to use their phones to download apps that can gut an A-level exam, but not in a kind of a, oh, you're cheating way, but in a, actually, that's terribly important to how you flip and learn the subject, but they're not shown it. And they're not shown it because not part of the syllabus. Not part of the syllabus. In fact, and the syllabus is getting more, not less Luddite, f more anti-technology. And it's crazy, but that's just the way it is, because we tend to... Um, we, we, we run so many different versions of society. We run what we actually do, and then we run the version of what we want to do. And what we want to do tends to be absorbed within education. So education has got very little, as far as I can see, about the actual lived world we live. It's the fantasy world that politicians live in and people live as they remember their child and they think about their children. And it's not really anything actually substantial. And all those kind of debates then kind of end up, for me, very, very mythic, if that makes any sort of sense to you. Well... Yeah, I think myth is very, very interesting in all directions. So, so, the, so one of the reasons that um, it's happening the way it does is that there are all sorts of things that, can't, that should be done that become almost impossible to do. Okay, so um, all kinds of things about kind of network, get, uh, the role of universities in a very network world is a highly problematic thing, but you wouldn't get a university accepting that. Well, when you said that the academics are networked somehow other than social media, do, are they networked through journals? Along uh, the, along the time the, sequence yeah, of and there's academic networks. So remember, the internet starts off as an academic network. So it starts off as CERN, as, an academic, as a purely academic network, so net academics can exchange ideas quickly. Those networks have, by and large, them in different forms, um, carry on. So they have their own network. So, if that if that's the case, then why why are they so concerned about buildings, and the the campus and the library and? The oh, that status. <laughs> so <laughs> that's so, so that, that status. That's saying, oh, I go to this university. <laughs> I've got these buildings. We 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 do dinners. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right, I, I, and right. I think that is having an extra ex Cambridge man. I think it's pure status. <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, right. uh, we'll have look, to continue look, this conversation another time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Look, the only. Yeah. Sorry. You've, you've got, got another go. question. Right. Well. Yeah. But no. You're right. You've got to go. You've got to be in Topsham uh, Court to. Uh, but look, over the. Uh, I'll just explain for for you and the audience what, what's in my head that I do do the, the start of the Wild Show, which comes immediately after your show, except when you're not here. So I'm imagining that um, you might be away for Glastonbury. You yes, You might be away yes. on tour. 
Yeah. In July. Yep, as ever. Yep, we so, will. So my plan is to take over that time as best I can, if I can get here early enough, and to either speculate about what you might say, or play an old clip of something you've said previously, or fit it in somehow. But, okay, that'd be but, great. Um, and if you can actually stay here a bit longer into a, the show in reality, once um, then yes, that's, that's, yes, that's, that's good right. As well. yeah, that's right. I, the, the reason I have to go won't carry on forever. I'm teaching now in Topsham, but I'm only teaching for another three weeks in Topsham. Okay. And then then I'll be able to stop longer for one time. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, look, thank you for this, that's okay. this, this start. We've made a <laughs> we've made a we've made, we've made, a, made a dent in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so I show. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pl- find some music now. <laughs> Bye, and uh, see what what else we can find on this wonderful uh, wonderful system. I think this is uh, 